Okay, I'm going to give you my plan because uh, essentially, since I knew that she was out of state, I had four plans because once again, my first plan was to get custody of Madison. That didn't work. I lost. My second plan was to protect my money. That actually worked very well. Now, one of the things, now there's several ways you can do this. Now, one of the reasons that, you know, on YouTube, people are like, how much money do you make? Are you a millionaire? And I never answer that question. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm not a millionaire. I've made millions of dollars. But in 2012, I established a trust fund for my kids, which makes me the manager in the execution of the trust fund. So I am not, quote, a millionaire. I just manage millions of dollars. And typically with the hustler porn people, they're like, yeah, show us to me. And show us. So they can just jack off on your money. I know, like a bitch, right? But essentially, I never asked that question because in the court of law, if I have video evidence of me saying I'm a millionaire and they come after me, those could be some problems. So one of the things you have to do in terms of protecting yourself is create a trust or an LLC. And if you do this before the baby's born, you're much better off, you know, trying to do it when the baby's born, that can look a little shady. So here's my situation. Uh, the YouTube channel is in an LLC. I don't own that LLC. My daughter does through the trust, right? So let's say they come after me. Uh, they get me and it's like, what's your source of income? I make like 1200 bucks a month or 2,500 bucks a month from YouTube. Oh, okay. So that's what they're going to base my child support on. They're not going to base it on the $150,000 a month that comes through the company. It's not. Also, when your child support order comes to you, it comes to you in your name. My child support order came to Glendon Cameron. It did not come to Hustlers Kung Fu. It did not LLC. It did not come to Mac Daddy Media LLC. It did not come to Cameron Strobe Media LLC. See, there's a little shell game here because first of all, and I will, yeah, I'll probably do this later, but the way that the LLC for Cameron, well, yeah, Cameron Strode Media is also my daughter and I and Mac Daddy Media is owned by Cameron Strode Media. See the layers here? So if they came at, let's say, let's say they penetrated the first layer and they got the Cameron Strode. There's no money there. Uh, Cameron Strode Media is a holding company. There ain't nothing there right now. So there ain't no money. And let's say they came after Mac Daddy Media. Well, I transferred a million dollars to YouTube channel and other assets. So until I make a million dollars, there ain't no money there. Even though money flows through the company. See how this game works. So essentially, if I am caught, that's how I consider it. And they get me in court. I am close to indigent on paper. I have no money and they cannot send you to jail for not having any money. They, and this is legal and I, the judge can know what I did and still can't do nothing about it because statute of limitations. Uh, I made this first move 2012. It is now 2017. There is a doctrine where they're not going to try to disturb one child, my daughter. They're not going to take money from her to give to another kid. Ain't going to do it. So by me being a good parent and wanting to put something out there for my daughter, I actually insulated myself from this stuff. Unknowingly, I didn't know this was going to happen. I, I mean, I was just, you know, I want my daughter to have something. So by me doing that, I am protected. So if they got me, my child support would be maybe a hundred bucks a month. Yeah. <laughs> I giggle like a girl every time I think about it because even and the thing is being a YouTuber and this is why you got to have a business, folks. You got to have a business because it gives you so many options and protections. It is crazy. It is crazy. The rule of law, uh, your, the rights to fair process is so beautiful when you understand and know how you can use this. It is crazy. And then let's say, you know, you you start an LLC. And 
you do it before the child is born or, you know, you get this sucker started, then you have a situation where you have a legal entity that's not you. Now, let's talk about bragging to your chick. If you got a girl, you could tell us some stuff, but keep her out of your business. Don't let her know where your bank accounts are. Do not put her in your business because if you put her in your business, she will gain information where she can circumvent all of this. Because she knows this and she knows what you've done. She knows all this stuff. So one of the reasons that a lot of y'all get got is because you talk too much. You tell too much. You have a situation of crazy. And like, I told my girl my stuff because the thing is, it's already established. And even if we had a kid, she couldn't get at that money. She couldn't. So, yeah, I could tell you all this other stuff. But if you're like a regular dude with an LLC and you don't have, quote, the protection of the layered LLC, you really need to be quiet about this stuff. Now, here's what you need to do. You need to start an LLC and you need to put certain language. Do not start a naked LLC, which is you go to whatever state you are. You do it online. There's really not a lot of protection there. I know. Right. That's why it's so cheap and easy. What you want to do is have your articles of organization and have things spelled out because in Mac Daddy Media, I make all the financial decisions for the company, but I only own 5%. That's it. I only own 5% of the company. My daughter owns 95%, which once again goes back into, uh, if I'm got, there's nothing they can do. 5% of nothing is nothing. You see what I'm saying? So, you start the LLC, you do your articles organization correctly, uh, which I'll discuss in Fat Cat Secrets. And if you're a member of Hustle Camp, you will get all of this. That's, that's the kind of guy I am. And then you run your business properly. I have one personal checking account at Delta Credit Union. And that checking account is, quote, a bird in the canary account. Because if something happens and they pull that money out of there, I know that something's going on and I need to go to the course in New York because I know this is where it started and say, look, uh, I wasn't served. And that's how this is going to happen, because the way the situation is now, since I'm a YouTuber. She can't serve me. I don't have a regular job. There's no place to serve me. No one knows where I live. The office. I used the UPS address for, you know, sending stuff out. So no one knows where, I mean, she can't serve me. I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing, but see, once again, if you are a regular dude with a job and this is no shade or anything against you, but you are a sitting duck. They, she knows where you work. She knows your social security number. She got you. And they're going to take that money out of your check and ain't nothing you can do about it. 